Adrian here from Overland Adventuring, and today we're bringing the Lunar over to the doctors. It's time to get that axle fixed. axle fix we know it's been bent and you know what the dealer here thousand island rv they have been just fantastic for us helping us out to take care of this so um we're still trying to nail down exactly what the problem with the axle is we know it's bent we know it's got a full replacement with new tires uh, and chances are it's a faulty batch from dexter but let me tell you kind of the story and uh, give you a little overview of everybody's response along the way backstory is that we came out one day we took a look at the wheels here and we noticed they were a little splayed out in fact we had somebody on the highway start to flag us over put a sign up in the window saying that yeah look at your wheels and so we pulled over and we took a look and sure enough they did look splayed out and if you notice one of my other videos you'll see a little more backstory on that bent axle so check that one out uh, if you want to just see a little bit more history on when we discovered it and kind of what we were thinking oh yeah that's not good. It's important to remember that all the components of these trailers, no matter what company you're dealing with, you know, the windows, the light switches, the fans up top, all of these things, including the axles, are just going to be outsourced to another manufacturer and then added to the trailer that, in this case, Intec was building. Dexter is a pretty well-known manufacturer. They claim to be in business for over 60 years. They put a lot of different axles on a lot of different trailers out there. So as a company, this is a solid, reputable manufacturer. So Dexter's using the torsion axle, which is a good idea, especially on the Rover edition of this Luna, because it actually lifts it up, gives you a little bit more clearance, and it has these independent spindles. The axle in this one is the number nine, what they call the uh, up to 2,200 pound axles. Now. I have a little bit of a problem with that because the dry weight of this is 1800 pounds. So really, they're only building in an allowance for about 400 pounds of gear. You add some water onto this, you add propane tanks, maybe a canoe to the top, some odds and ends, and a bunch of bags. It's not going to take long to hit that 2200 pounds. I spoke with Dexter and I said, hey, can I upgrade the size of this axle to the number 10? because at the end of the day, that number 10 axle can carry significantly more weight. Dexter was great. They said, yeah, sure. You, all you have to do is pay the difference between the price of the two axles. I talked to Intech and they said they do not recommend going up to the number 10. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but under the warranty idea, I was stuck with the number nine, put another one of these on and hope that everything I've read is true that there's just simply a faulty manufacturing aspect in 2020. So YouTube, I put the question to you, should I have gone up to the number 10? Should I have just paid a little bit extra? Maybe void the warranty with Intech, but move up to that axle size and see if it held up? Leave a note in the comments below. So here we are, it's been a couple of weeks. It's time to pick up the Intech Lunar Rover, picking her up from the doctor's office. New axle, we're ready to go. Check her out. Brand new tires, looking good. Little knobbies on them, beautiful. Brand new axle. We're in business, 
time to take her home. Take a look at me now. Not at all. Perfectly straight up and down. No issues with either one. They look perfect. And that's how they should look. Right? Take a look along here. Nice and straight, nice and smooth. So if you're looking at your rover and you're thinking to yourself, man, do the wheels look like they're sticking out a little bit? Chances are they probably are. You can take it in if it's under warranty, get that fixed and push for it because you deserve it, right? This is uh, an issue that is unsafe in the long run, probably okay to use for a while, but unsafe in the long run. And hey, you deserve to get it fixed. So what's actually pretty exciting for me is since I made that first video, three other customers have come in to get their axle replaced on their Luna Rover. So I think that's just fantastic. Big kudos to these guys here at Thousand Island RV Center for taking care of their customers, changing these axles out. But to everybody else who saw the video, you know, I really hope you guys appreciate what we're doing here. Feel free to subscribe. Uh, feel free to keep an eye on all these videos as they're coming out. And uh, I'm glad I could help.